All right, today we are going to tie a parachute juju betis. So, this is going to be uh, kind of turning the juju betis into a dry fly. So, if you like the juju betis uh, and that type of uh, small, small nymph patterns, go ahead and give this video a like and let us know what your favorite dry dropper uh, is to fish. Anyways, let's get started here. We have a fire hole sticks 419 in size 14. In the vise, any dry fly hook would work. And we're going to get started with some UTC 70 in white. So the UTC 70. Uh, it, will, it will let us lay down a really uh, a thin, flat body here. With uh, The main thing with what I'm doing with this pattern is we're going to use the uh, body technique from all of the Juju Betis or Juju Midge patterns. So I'm just going to use some CDL. Uh, for the tail. If you wanted to go really small with this pattern, I would switch it out to be more like uh, the tail that's uh, called out for with the Juju Betis. That's more of a uh, just like a oh, it's kind of like a wet fly hackle type. Fly, so uh, something from like a hen saddle. But in a larger size fly like this, I don't think that would be as work as well as a tail for a tail. All right, so now we're ready to tie in our body material. I'm gonna get this stuff out of their sleeves. This is uh, slinky fiber. It just comes in these big tanks. So, let's see if the black, I think the black shows up better here. I just find one fiber. So here, I mean, that can tie a million of them. I get one, one fiber by itself. I'll just come in here, trim it out. I'll set that aside for a second. I'm going to do that same thing with the red. Except I'm looking for two fibers instead of just one. Okay, hopefully you can see that now I got two of these. So this stuff can be kind of slippery and Kind of go all over it super thin. Let's see if you can, you can just see. I mean, that's as thin or thinner than the thread. And it's kind of, you know, completely uneven there. So I just come in, trim those off all even. Now you have somewhat of even tips. So I'll just try to get a hold of all of them. A couple loose wraps. Just pull those fibers back now. See there. 
Try that again. I would say getting them started and tied tied in is can be difficult. They do kind of go all over. Two loose wraps. Hold out again. Keeping them the same length can be a little bit difficult. Or too long. I just have to trim those little butt sections out. And that's okay. There we go. Now I have those three strands and they're like I said they're pretty uh slippery so they they lay down next to each other really well so, and so they're not all bunched up they're kind of laid next to each other so now to get a nice thin body I'm going to give this thread a counterclockwise turn so that we can get a nice thin body because this stuff will lay down better the uh, smoother your body is. Now just back up to our tie-in point. This is where I like having my parachute post tied in before I wrap my body. You can do it either way, but this, doing it this way, I think, lets me not um, tie too far up. So I can still keep uh, enough room for thorax. I'm gonna get a little rough cut so I can keep some of this material out of my way. Now just work your thread up your post. I got a little bit, a little bit high. Okay. Now we're going to get this slinky material, and we're going for two strands of red, one strand of black. And the thing is. As you wrap this, it'll look that way no matter how, no matter how you wrap it, because uh, whether it, whether it goes 
red, black, red. As you wrap it, it'll put the correct fibers next to each other. Now these will want to paste it first. They don't. They don't like sitting exactly where you want them to go. It might take some work getting these started. Just be patient with them so that you can get them started right next to each other. Let's come in here, push them down with your fingernail. not the easiest bodies to wrap but if you kind of keep a little a little uh, kind of wiggle it a little bit with a little bit of backwards um, tension it should kind of keep everything where you want it now that I'm up there I'll go ahead and capture this with the white thread this off. You probably have enough for another, another fly if you're wanting. So you could save that for another uh, your next fly. So then for this the normal uh, juju patterns and they do have a, a black thread thorax so i'm going to go ahead and cut right, whip finish this quick cut out my white thread and switch to some pen odd vivis in black finish this fly up Thread attached here. All right. So now we can tie in our hackle. I'm just going to use a grizzly and a brown. These have been sized to the size 14 hook that we're using. I'm just going to tie them both in at the same time. I have a thread behind the parachute post. I come around with a wrap to the front to kind of grab them. And then, then I can work them up the up the post. 
try to keep them as straight on my side of the hook as I can. Get up to post. And remember, the straighter your hackle fibers or hackle stems, the better. I had some that they they don't seem to be the straightest, and then they're fighting me when I'm trying to uh, wrap them around the post. So take your time in selecting those. It's more than than just having the right size. All right, because this is a dry fly, normally on the juju patterns, you just make a thread thorax and call it good. I'm going to use a little bit of uh, fine dry fly dubbing in black. And I'm just going to try to go as absolutely thin as I can. Just barely any, just to give it the slightest bit of a dub thorax. Just cover up that thread. A little spot in the back. Just, just barely dirty up the thread. Now we can get these hackles. And just remember, I had the grizzly on first. So there, the grizzly was wanting to be behind the, the brown, but I want those stems to line up how they, how they were. First couple wraps, just take your time, make sure that you're not overlapping. You want to don't want to trap fibers. It's really easy to do, and it's not the end of the world because you can just trim those. So there we got a few turns of our hackle. Doesn't look like we trapped any other than our butt ends here. Let's trim those out. Move that a little closer. I like to give another couple. wraps now here's where you know you can kind of choose how you want to finish it there's the super glue way you put some super glue on the bodkin just rub that in there you can do that with uv resin turn my parachute post or if you're going to whip finish it's a lot easier to rotate that fly in the vise I barely keep it in picture here, but it's there. And then you can need a whip finish in here. Just be aware of those hackle fibers. 
because it's easy to trap some in those wraps and then they're pointing down so you just have to be aware if you trap some you can just trim them bring it back bring it back up here Oops. Trim out my thread. And there you have a parachute juju betas. So if you like those type those small flies like the juju betas and the juju midge, and you like fishing parachute dry flies, go ahead and give this video a like. Let us know your favorite dry dropper rig in the in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.